We are certainly not alone as we keep an eye on severe weather. This is a tornado near Pleasantville in Iowa last night. That's south of Des Moines. Boy, that video is uh, just certainly shocking. Hard to look at. We are still waiting to hear if there are any injuries or major damage. But uh, boy, a deadly tornado season we have seen already as ABC's Zareen Shaw reports. Just four days after tornadoes tore through the Midwest and South, another system is expected to pound the North with up to two feet of snow and whiteout conditions with severe weather possible in the Midwest. 95 million people are under the threat of intense tornadoes, winds and hail through Wednesday. Just over the weekend, more than two dozen Americans were killed after over 80 tornadoes ripped through 14 states, the biggest outbreak of tornadoes in the last three years. 730,000 customers were left without power. President Biden declared parts of the country major disaster areas, making federal funding and resources available. And according to the National Weather Service, we've had at least 63 tornado deaths already this year, which is nearly the number of tornado-related deaths we see in an average year. Despite the grim news, one Arkansas woman is counting her blessings. People are finding stuff from miles away. She was displaced during Friday's tornadoes. Our local ABC station was able to reunite her with a treasured family heirloom, with her daughter's christening dress and cards from family members who have passed on. Don't ever give up, and prayer is powerful. Zoreen Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles.